Hey guys, welcome back to Future Specs. I'm Wesley, and I recently just read the first few issues of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles run, and I really enjoyed it, so I'm here to talk about it in this video. So before we get into the video, you guys already know what to do. Please like and comment down below. Let me know if you guys like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, if you're big fans of it, and subscribe for more comic book content just like this. So I read these issues in this big oversized uh, collected edition, which I got in a collection that I bought a couple months ago, but I never got around to reading it. And it came with five of these books, which I believe were reprints of the original few issues, which came out in 1986. And it's really cool because it's the big oversized editions so you can see the bigger art and all the details better. But they also recolored it from the original black and white art that the series was. So it's really cool to see the colored versions of the art in this bigger format. And I've been wanting to read and get into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the actual comics at least, because I've watched the cartoons a lot when I was younger, but I really wanted to get into the actual stories and comics recently. So I figured that the original run and just starting right from the beginning was the best place to do that. So this volume one collection here collected the first four issues of the original run, but I'm just going to be talking about the first issue and kind of just the general story overall. So I really enjoyed it. This original run definitely is a lot darker and grittier than, say, the original cartoon. You know, if the turtles being more comedic characters and lighthearted and everything with the fights. But in here, it, it's dark, it's bloody and violent, which I really think is cool that these characters were originally a lot darker and more adult characters and stories, and then they were kind of taken and brought to kids. So I really enjoyed these first four issues, which I read all in this collected edition, but I'm only going to be talking about the first issue and just the general story. So the first issue, like many in series like this, was the origin issue with the turtles being lost in the sewers of New York and then Splinter finding them after they're covered in the ooze and then them growing up and being trained as ninjas and all that. But one thing I was really surprised about was how accurate the movie and TV shows did this origin and the story of the fir and the story of the first issue in general. Like for example, the first it uh, episode of the 2003 cartoon series, which is the one that I watched the most growing up. It was a lot darker than the original cartoon, so it was a lot more in vain of the original series. But for example, in that episode, the turtles start out trapped in an alleyway surrounded by uh, purple dragon gang members, and they have to fight their way out. And Leonardo is kind of narrating, introducing the turtles and as the fight's going on and everything. And that's exactly how it happens in the first issue of the book, which is really cool. Another thing, in the first live-action Ninja Turtles movie with the big rubber suits, the, the, the final fight with Shredder is very similar to how it is in this first issue with the Turtles going up against Shredder, but originally they're going one-on-one -on, -one on him and Shredder's beating each of them. But then they realize that they have to, you know, work together in order to beat and defeat Shredder. So I really liked this because sometimes when comics are adapted into movies and TV shows, you know, the writers, they kind of warp and change the origins and even characters themselves from the original source material. So I just thought it was really cool how they kept it so accurate and faithful to this original series. The art is also really awesome and I'm not sure how it compares to the original black and white art, but I really enjoyed the recolored art and it looks really good, especially for the blood and the fighting when like the ninjas and the turtles get like little nicks and stuff, the little drops of blood that go down their arm and everything. Kevin Eastman's art is really awesome with those little details and uh, just everything else within the book itself. So that's my thoughts on reading Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the first time. So please let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think of Ninja Turtles, if you guys are fans, if you guys enjoy these stories. And please like and subscribe down below for more comic book content like this. Hopefully we're going to be getting back into the groove of everything of doing live shows and sleeper keys again. So if you guys want to see those, make sure to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next video or live show. <laughs>